Hey, Till Master Flux here, coming out with another video. Today, we are going to be talking about the top five fitness trackers of 2020. Keep in mind, though, these are just tools to help you achieve your goals, but they won't do the work for you overall. If you want more content that's going to help you achieve your goals and help you stick to a regimen, hit that bell down below, like and subscribe. I'll be able to help you out, find more content. Five. Number five is this application, it's called Body Fit. It was made by bodybuilding.com. Um, with bodybuilding.com, you kind of anticipate them coming out with a good product, but unfortunately, it turned out to be a di big disappointment. You, you end up having to uh, choose what uh, workout plan you want to stick to. And keep in mind, this isn't something like you can customize. This is workout plans that are strictly coming from bodybuilding.com know what happened uh, it seems like they're going towards a services based uh, model and I don't think it's gonna work out that well for them at all so if you're willing to pay that kind of money for it I guess that's okay for you but I would never even if I was starting back up lifting I would never pay that much money just to get information that I can just go online or go to a youtuber or just read and figure out a nice workout plan that's like very beginner oriented and just figure it out myself that way you end up learning more overall so it's up to you next we're going to be moving on to the, this fourth app which is GE fit so bottom line this app I was not a big fan of it at all as soon as you get into the app itself you're constantly nagged to, for you to provide some kind of information um, as in your name or link up with your Facebook or your Google account or something like that like when I get into a fitness tracker personally I like to just be able to get in log what I want to log log in there then I have it stored locally on my phone in my opinion but uh, overall it looks promising but the delay uh, is what sets it down in the fourth spot if you're looking to well if you're planning um ahead of time to spend some time and get this all tailored up for you it might be worth it but from my standpoint it's not worth the upfront time so now we're at the third spot so the third application is fit notes this used to be the my bread and butter back in the day i used to use this like crazy um it's very minimalistic app you can get in and go very quickly and get all set up and you can log your workouts instantly which let me tell you that is the biggest lightsaber so nice and through through this app you're able to make a ro workout routine or do a day by day or if you just want to throw in a random workout that's great like it's very accommodating for you to accomplish that taking more time out of your workout just to put in what exercise you're doing now so fortunately that's what got pinged, pinged down to the third spot so, in the number two spot, we have Strong. Strong is a very nice, nice application. It's a close tie with number one. I used to use this religiously in July when I initially purchased my smartwatch. That's really the only reason why I got off of it. The Strong app didn't have a fitness, uh, Google Fitness integration or anything like that until later on which now they do i was actually going through their app today i was pretty surprised so since i have that i've been meaning to go back to look around to see what else has changed but overall the strong app has a very good foundation adding workouts routines and uh it's planning your programming is very easy in this application one one con to this though is that they are moving towards a subscription-based model as well. I bought this application when it was $4.99. Now, I believe it's $4.99 a month. Nice thing about my when I bought the application, when I did, I now have a lifetime membership. I was grandfathered into. But if you don't want to pay for an app on a monthly basis, I would steer clear away from this one. Progression does a good job of exporting all of your workouts you can export your workout into a csv file or you can export all of the analytics that you that have available that through 
logging your workouts over and over, you can see your overall progression on graphs, how everything's going, and uh, you can see where you started and where, where you're going. And it helps you let you know if your workout regimen is actually improving. Progression is very good also on knowing what day of the week you should be working out your muscle group. Uh, when I actually added in my program, it lets me know, hey, this is going to be this next day for you, or today you're hitting legs, wherever I set up everything. It also accounts in the rest day for me, so it's my, my schedule is always there, just in case I, I randomly forget on what body part I'm going to hit that day. It doesn't happen often, but it's always it's a nice convenience factor. Also, a nice thing that progression has going for it is that all it has so many exercises already pre-configured into the application itself. You're not going to be spending hours or minutes or seconds just trying to like get all of your exercises in and all laid out properly. It's super easy to do this. You can set up your rest times and your sets and it'll just it'll just go and then you're able to save your workout and it works great so this is why I think progression is the best fitness tracker app that is out currently so if you like this video please take your time like subscribe below and please leave a comment to see if you disagree with anything I said or if you have any alternatives that are worth checking out that would be great take care See you next time.